David Hennig, the UK Director of the European Centre for International Political Economy, joins us now live from London. Hi, David. Okay, I know you don't have a crystal ball, but how do you see this playing out? Will government kind of damage control efforts to manage the Yellowhammer paper, will they be able to turn that to their advantage? And does it actually even matter if a no-deal Brexit is now supposed to be illegal? It doesn't necessarily matter. I think it will still be very difficult for the government to uh, leave the EU with no deal on October the 31st. So I think that that's the, f the first thing to say. Um, the yellow hammer does not help. I don't think it's anything new. We've seen leaks of this sort of thing before. So I don't think it's, ter it's terribly new, but it is not helping the government to make their case. Okay, I'd like to ask you about something different, David. A really interesting poll came out recently saying, if an election were held now, the Conservatives would probably win with a decent margin, but the same people polled actually said any final Brexit deal should be taken uh, to a second referendum. Does that surprise you? No, we've seen that there is, there's been a small, but only a small shift from a vote to leave to a vote to remain in the last uh, couple of years, just small enough that it would have made the difference in a referendum, not a huge shift. And so there is a lot of pressure still for a referendum, but I don't think the politicians want to have a referendum. I think that they think this would be quite divisive. It wouldn't actually help the healing process. So there are all sorts of political projections. In an election, we genuinely don't know who would win. Uh, the Conservatives may win, but actually it could end up losing really similar to the way it does at the moment. Yeah, I found it interesting, though, because it almost seemed like the public didn't quite understand what Brexit would mean, and then when it finally is maybe defined, they do want to be able to choose whether or not that should be uh, their Brexit. But l let me ask you something else. You know, the Scottish court has ruled uh, that Boris Johnson's suspension of Parliament is actually illegal. Uh, that ruling is just kind of sitting there. Will Parliament actually be able to reconvene, do you think? So Parliament is not going to be reconvening at the moment because the government, have, it's still a decision for the government now as to whether it reconvenes. I think that if it was found illegal, so there is going to be a further ruling uh, next week, I think if it is found illegal then, there will be a lot of pressure for Parliament to return. We have party conference season in the UK, so normally the uh, political parties are away having conferences. I think there would be a lot of pressure to cancel or shorten those and to return to Parliament. But we really wait for the judgment next week, and it's very complicated. There is there are different laws in England and Scotland that, are, that apply, and nobody really knows how the final judgment will go. Right. Okay, David, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for that from London.